Hello everyone. In this video, we'll solve the remaining five parts of question number two of exercise thirteen point two. And here also we have to simplify them and express them in exponential form. So as you know that anything raised to the power zero is equals to one. So this will be one plus one multiplied with one. So that will be two multiplied with one, and that will be so two will be the required answer. In this one. This four is not in its prime factorized form. So first of all, we will convert it in its prime factorized form. That will be two to the power eight into eight to the power five upon two square. That will be four and whole cube into a cube. Now that will be two to the power eight multiplied with eight to the power five upon three two times is two to the power six into a cube. Now these powers will go in the numerator and that. They will change their signs. That will be two to the power eight minus six multiplied with a to the power five minus three, and that will be two to the power two multiplied with a to the power two. So this is our required answer. In this question, first of all, this power will go in the numerator and it will change its sign. So that will be a to the power five minus three whole multiplied with a to the power eight. That will be eight to the power two into eight to the power eight. Same base, so power gets added up, and our answer will be eight to the power eight. In this question, we are already given that four to the power five, and here also four to the power five. Now, in this question, we will not convert it in its prime factorized form. The reason is they are the same terms, so we can send this power in the numerator. And eight to the power eight b cube means eight to the power eight multiplied with B to the power three. So we can write this like four to the power five into a to the power eight into b to the power three upon four to the power five multiplied with a to the power five multiplied with b to the power two. Now they are having same base, so the power with the same base will go in the numerator and it will change its sign. So it will be four to the power five minus five multiplied with a to the power eight minus five. Multiply it with b to the power three minus two, so that will be four to the power zero into a to the power three into b to the power one. Anything to the power zero is one, so our answer will be a cube multiplied with b, or we can directly write this like a cube b. In the last one, same base power gets added up, so that will be two to the power four whole square, and these two gets multiplied, so our answer will be two to the power. Now. Some of you must be thinking, why haven't I done, or I'll solve it uh, uh, using that different method, or you can say the second method. Now, I told you that if anything is having the whole power, this power will goes with each and every term. So it will be two to the power three, whole to the power two, multiplied with two to the power two. This will be two to the power six into two to the power two. Now same base, so power gets added up, so that will be two to the power eight. But I always recommend you that first of all you should always solve the bracket because that makes things simpler. This is a three-step method and this is a two-step method. So this is how you can solve this question. For any queries or doubts, you can contact us through our website that is www.truemaths.com or through our YouTube channel that is TrueMaths. Thank you.